Welcome back. If you get a chance to get out to a Turkey Run Boys basketball game this year, you'll be watching the Warrior players or maybe even rooting against them for your own home team. But if you think about it and take a look at the Turkey Run sideline, you'll see an example of just how precious a life can be. Sports 10's Ross Rawling has the story. Grant McVeigh broke into the high school coaching ranks when he was 25. After nine years as the head man at Clay City, he had rebuilt the program into sectional champions. And on May 12, 2009, he was on his way up. He had an offer to go teach at Fountain Central. It was closer to home, and it was an athletic hotbed. Life was good for a moment. I was going to back cut it, or notch it, back cut it, and then let him push it over. But it, unbeknownst to us, it was rotten inside. And so when that dude broke, I mean, that's about, all I, that's about all I can tell you. Later that very same day, McVeigh was dropping a tree at his hometown golf course. The limb fell and hit him in the head. He was taken to Methodist Hospital in Indianapolis, where he had a brain bruise and a broken eye socket. Doctors weren't sure he would make it. Outside of being aware of my wife, I, you know, my wife being there, um, and Coach, you know, Coach Ross driving up there, Really, the first, first clear recollection I have was probably the next morning. But he continued to battle, and now he's back doing what he loves. At his alma mater, Turkey Run, who hasn't won a sectional since McVeigh was a junior back in 1992. I just really had to ask, after resigning at Clay City, you know, is there something else I'm supposed to do? I mean, why wasn't I killed? Outside of just the importance, obviously, of being a parent and being a husband and, and uh, loving your family. I don't, I don't want my kids growing up without their mom or their dad. And, and So each day, you know, you're just hopefully a little bit more thankful for the opportunity you have with your family and, and wife and kids. Coach McVeigh is a basketball coach, but more importantly, he's a son, a husband, and a father that truly appreciates and embraces every moment. If I died today, I've, I've had a great life and really believe that. Uh, really didn't want to put that to the test necessarily, but I think you go through something like that and, and appreciate even more. And he and his wife Donna are both happy that things have worked out for them to both be back home with two kids and another on the way. I love Lo absolutely love this area. My wife and I are both from here. Uh, just absolutely love the Sugar Creek, Wabash River area. Ross Rawling, Sports 10.